Hello, and today we're going to be talking about the gorgeous, beautiful, exciting topic of HTML iframes. Now, many designers tend to hate HTML iframes because they're really backward um, in mentality, but for a lot of things uh, they can be useful. Uh, for, for a lot of things, like I'll show you in a minute, you've got no choice but to use them. What an HTML iframe is, is it allows you to embed any other page into your page. Like literally embed the HTML of the page in, into your page. Now, there's a bunch of reasons why this is bad. Um, and a bunch of kind of mentality why it's bad. But we're just going to dive in today. Like literally just dive in and talk a um, little bit about iframes, the um, the example which I'm going to bring up today resides on my own personal website. See, even though I hate iframes, it's also unforgettable um, if we look way down here. Um, and I know that there's two forms here a minute. What, one's iframe and one's not. I'm experimenting with one to get away from the iframe model because I hate it so much. But this form right here is an iframe. Um, this um, this is a woofoo form and I've talked about woofoo before it's a, gr it's a great um, yeah. hi sorry for the continuity break there but someone just came into the room anyway as I was saying woofoo is a great way to create HTML forms it's really really easy and it adds loads of really really cool stuff um, you can tell just by looking at the form how cool it is but there's one problem to embed it on your website it requires that you use an iframe so you don't get to control the markup and that's and that's one of the gripes of iframe because what you're literally doing is um, embedding someone else's site onto your site so they're not gonna they're not going to allow you to alter the markup. So that's a problem with iframes as well, is that this form isn't actually on my website. It's on Wufu's site. So if Wufu's down, all the, uh, all the forms that use Wufu are not going to work. Um, so that's pretty uh, bad. Now I'm just going to pop open my safari little inspector um, and if we look here at the code um, into this thing we're gonna look in the content section because I happen to know where that's embedded we've got the iframe element and it's got a height which is bad um, for uh, the HTML in here because you shouldn't set the height to something in HTML because it'll make it go weird. We've got transparency true, which you shouldn't set a border, which is to do with the, the CSS. So that's bad. And then what we've literally got is a source attribute, just like you'd have on an image um, of the URL. So this is really backward. But if we look inside um, that uh, I was going to say if we look we look at the markup for that particular page what it does is it embeds loads of crap that we have well it's not crap but it embeds loads of stuff that we don't have control of 
we don't have control of any of this markup. We can't get rid of all these um, spans and stuff that we don't need. So as a designer, that's fine because you want to have the cleanest code possible and you want to um, have as many things on site as possible. If we um, reload the page, you'll notice that that Wi-Fi form doesn't load instantly. It takes a few seconds after the page is loaded. So the whole mentality of iframes is a little bit backward and um, because so let's let's recap on the reasons why it's backward. We we can't alter the markup, which is against the three out of five standards. Um we can't rely on not being on our own server. So if that breaks then um somebody can't access the functionality on our site. Um they're just bad depreciated HTML elements. Um but sometimes it's the only way so we're going to look at um, how to use iframes and why they might be cool. Again, we're going to use that as an example. So I've just got this open encoder. And if we open that up, we see I've got a special page template just so that I can embed um, this iframe. Because originally what I had to do is because that's in an iframe and I can't alter the marker up, I had to take um the title out of this um markup so that I was um able to just leave the Wufu title as as the title because if I what happened when I left um my comment because if I couldn't take the title out of the iframe then there was then there was two um two titles one generated from my wordpress theme and one generated from um Wufu. so i had no choice but to create another page template um as as was you know, creating the title because i can't alter this markup and it set a static height right in the html not even in the CSS. Iframes need a static height. If they don't have a static height, or if it's wrong, they'll throw a wobbly. They need special border and scrolling and transparent properties. And where it really gets interesting is this SRC bit. Um, here, this, this will show you what we can actually do with an iframe. We can actually add I'll put the just Google in there. That SRC attribute is just something generic. What it says, this is somewhere else on the web where that iPhone is going to link to. So it's linked. In the eyes of the HTML, it's just literally a link and we have no control over what gets blacked out. So if we go back to the contact page and we and refresh. Now what we have is basically Google on our page. And you might think that's cool and that's sweet, but that, is, that has come from the iframe. We could do that with anything. Um, uh, if we, however, look at the markup that's been spit out when this page was rendered, um, there's all our header stuff and then. And then we've got a bunch of that's all our theme stuff. Um, but here is where we start to to get all this stuff. None of none of none of this 
this form. Uh, this is where the iframe starts to come in. And then and then we just get we don't get control over any of that code. We just get left with it. What we can do is um say I wanted to inspect the Google element. We could just take that there and we can see what's altering the elements on the airframe but we can't actually um do do anything useful for them so in conclusion iframes are are really bad and you should avoid using them at all costs um in in the eyes of um uh in the eyes of what was I gonna say? In the eyes of the, the, the W three C, they're not they're not depreciated elements, but it's just kind of uh, 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 odd mentality to have. If you have I think then this has can be a bit of a mess because you have no control over it really. But in situations like I'm in where I can't um. I have no choice. Like, I, if I want to use the Wufu form, which I do, then I have no other choice. That that's that's one reason why I've got this form up here because I'm trying to so set. This is a form on my 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 own site. I can alter any of this markup, but with the iPhone, I can't. So. That's that is the end of my soapbox. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you learned something.